Hello, my name is Ronnie Pickering! Actually, it's Jimmy Vegas, and welcome to this, the second in a mini series of video tutorials on how to create an island landscape in Unity 5. So, last episode, we created our terrain just here, and we started creating the basis for our first island. In this episode, what we'll be doing is we'll be texturing our uh, terrain so we can make it look a bit more prettier rather than the white. Uh, we'll use a few different tools to create uh, how it looks, this island. We'll create a, a speed island and we'll also add in our water. So the first thing we're going to do is texture our terrain. So down here in your assets uh, folder, right click, create and click folder. And I'm going to call this one simply textures. And if we head in there now. So what I need to put in this folder here to keep everything nice and tidy are the textures we are going to use for our terrain. And if you head over to our website, you can get these three textures for free. You just need to go to the Downloads and Assets section. So if you select them all and drag and drop them straight into Unity here, it will tell you to hold on while it imports. And all three of them will appear here in just a second. Give it a moment to think about it. There we go. So you notice we have dirt 001, grass 001, and sand 001. So what I want to do is essentially this entire terrain, I want to coat it with one single texture for the time being. So over here we've explored a couple of these options for your terrain. The one we want now is this paintbrush one. And down here where it says textures, we need to apply these textures individually. So if you have, if you click here, sorry, and if you have blue squares appearing there, you'll need to click Edit Textures and Edit Texture. If you don't have them blue squares, still click Edit Textures and click Add Texture. You'll still be brought up with this same box. So whether you click Add or Edit, here, we need to drag and drop dirt 001 in both of these um, boxes just here. Let me quickly um, just need to quickly wipe over all of that there. I had been playing around with it uh, just a, a couple of minutes earlier. So your terrain should now look like this big lump there which is our island and it's all covered with the uh, texture just here. Now if we go to the cog wheel here which is our settings and go to material it should be selected built-in standard by default. Now if your texture looks kind of glossy you may need to change the settings and as you can see it has changed there. So I'm actually going to set this on built-in legacy diffuse uh, at the moment and see where we go from there. So then head back here and again uh, edit textures and add texture if you don't have the blue boxes. As you see I have two more because I've been playing around. But if you're starting this from scratch you, should, uh, you shouldn't have these so you should be clicking add texture. So either way, whatever you do, you're still presented with this box. And your next thing to do is drag and drop the sand onto them two there and click apply. So now what I want to do is I want to coat this island with uh, sand around the edges. So I'm going to click this tool here. Uh, I'm going to set opacity to 100 and target strength 1, brush size 25 will do and I'm just going to paint around there and you'll see it change colour. So that'll do that, let's move around to the other side um, select the paintbrush tool again and let's do that. So it does look quite solid the difference there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tool and you'll notice it still happens. So what we want to do is reduce the opacity. So let's put it as 13 and it kind of blends a little more. So if you just go around the edges slowly 
it blends just that little bit more. So the lower the opacity, the more it will kind of blend together. So let's go around this side of the island and quickly just blend it there. Let's raise the opacity just a little more, about 9. And that should do. So the next thing I'm going to do is make it more like an island and actually have green. So this grass texture needs to go onto our terrain. So once again on your paintbrush tool there, if you have that then you've got edit textures, if you don't then click add texture and again you'll be presented with this. Drag and drop straight on there and then click apply. And I'm going to raise the opacity again to 100 just to paint the top of our island of grass there. And I'm going to select this one and reduce the opacity to about 10. And just kind of blend it a little there. Let's turn around the other side. Select our tool again and just blend all around there. Okay, so that'll do like that. It's a quick simple island. So at the moment it looks more like just a mound of nothing. We need to add our water. So to do that you will need to import a package. So if down here if you click on assets, right click and go to import package. Now hopefully you should have quite a few options here. If not, you may need to go to the Unity website and download uh, the packages. They're very simple to download. You go on to the uh, history and you can download them there. Uh, the one we want for this is, uh, let's see, environment. Sorry about that, we had uh, froze on me then, my apologies. So we should uh, make sure you do click on environment there and it will decompress the package. Um, yes, so uh, at the beginning of this episode I said my name was Ronnie Pickering. Uh, if you don't get who Ronnie Pickering is, have a quick Google and um, it's jolly funny. So once you've clicked that and then you just need to click import and then it will import everything it needs to into Unity with your effects and your environment. So we just need to give it a couple of seconds than I would like but usually it can be pretty quick. If you've got a speedy machine it is fairly quick. So importing all this as I say, we'll import our water that we need, and it will also import something which we're going to use in the next episode, which is our palm tree, which we'll be placing on our island. So it's it's kind of two birds with one stone in this situation. So we're nearly halfway there importing. Um, I'm not going to try and babble on too much, but as I say, we're going to place our water now and then quickly create a speedy island, and then that will be the end of this tutorial. And the next tutorial, we are going to start building our tree. We're going to put in our person to wander around. And we're going to slowly add in a few more things. As I say, it's only a mini series, this. It's not meant to be a big, long series. It's just a quick one to show you how to do uh, different things within an island landscape. So just a couple more seconds, hopefully, to import. Now is probably a good time to skip forward in the video if you don't want to hear me babbling. Skip forward maybe 30 seconds. If you want to hear me babbling then by all means stay uh, listening. Uh, maybe a good time to make a cup of tea, coffee, whatever you drink. This is actually taking quite a lot longer than it usually does. It can be quite annoying. But once we're in and we've imported everything, we're sorted. Almost there. Almost there. I'd, I'd, I'd tell a joke right now, but no, my jokes aren't funny. I'm not a funny person. Not at all. If you got any jokes, tell me in the comments. Okay, so we're there. 
we've finally uh, imported our standard assets and our environment. So if you click standard assets down here and click environment, click the arrow down and you'll see water and water basic. We don't want basic, we want water. So click that and then go into water again. It's going down here and then we need to go to prefabs and you'll notice you have water pro daytime and water pro nighttime. I'm going to use the daytime one. So just drag and drop that into your scene. You'll see this kind of little circle up here. What we need to do is we need to change the scale immensely to fit our terrain. So we want to change on the x axis, sorry, on the uh, x scale. Let's change this to 1000. And let's also change the z or z to 1000. And now, if you take this green arrow and pull up, you can see you can move the water level up and down. So if you have it about there, you can see our island now appears. So hopefully, I'm not sure if this will work, but if we press play, we can view it through our main camera. But we can't really see it at the moment. So what we'll do, I wonder if we can um, pick our camera up to about there. Pull it this way and then press play and then hopefully we should be able to see our water. Yes. So there is our water effect and there's our little island in the distance. So before we end this episode we're going to create a quick little island. So I'm just going to zoom out to about there and we're going to do this really really quick because random is random and it makes it look better than just a weird circle. So onto your world, terrain tool, let's randomly set this opacity 67, brush size uh, 19, let's select this one and just move the mouse around and there you go. Trying to get that sort of um, effect is not difficult but if you try creating this, you probably won't be able to do it. So being more random creates a bit more of an effect. So if we wanted to create an island, let's change the brush size to like 63. And let's there, there. Let's do a few clicks. About there. And then if you remember, let's go to our smooth height, just there. Change our opacity, let's put 28, and let's just smooth this island over. So now we've got something more to play with in our next episode, and that's a way of creating quick little rocks, quick little islands, different things like that. And if we press play again, you can see in the distance that's what we're starting to look like. So we'll leave this tutorial there for now. Uh, as I say, next episode we'll put in a player so we can move around and have a look put in trees, we'll do different things and see where we go. So for now, just enjoy making your island and create different islands, different style of rocks, whatever you want. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.